In this video, I show you the Kickstarter page to adventure. But before we get into today's video, I just want to share with you what the GGGGs are for this month. Each month, Bob the Boulder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this month of February of 2023, we have this $50 credit towards Terrainify. They offer STL files or printed terrain as well as painted and printed terrain. We have two $25 credits towards LV427. If you haven't seen my video showcasing some of their files, go ahead and check it out here. They're also offering two $40 credits towards the Sunken Citadel Kickstarter that's happening right now. This printed and painted dice tower from Mountain City of Gunbar, in addition to one pledge for that campaign. $100 to go towards a crowdfunding campaign, which my Patreon supporters are currently voting upon. And finally, two pledges for this Kickstarter that I'm going to be walking you through during this video. And this printed and painted blacksmith shop. If you want to get in on that, go ahead and use the link below to go to my Patreon page where you can get more information. And it only takes a dollar to join with the possibility of Bob choosing you to receive one of these gratitude gifts. So I've done a number of videos for Zykit, otherwise known as Jason. He is like a super nice guy. And he reached out to me telling me about this current Kickstarter, which is happening right now. Going to go through towards the end of this month. I think it ends on the 25th, but we are going to go over to the computer and I am going to walk you through the campaign and the various things are, that are currently unlocking. Also, I'm super happy to see that he has incorporated these balloon LED lights and I did a video featuring how I've been using them with some other STL files for my gaming purposes. These are really cheap options that you can use to have actual lighting for your 3D printed terrain. And a lot of the scatter terrain that is a part of this Kickstarter has incorporated these balloon lights. And as you can see here, I printed out a number of the lanterns that's available in the Japanese scatter terrain. And this Kickstarter has a bunch of different themed terrain and you're getting all of it for only $32 US. Now, I did print out this blacksmith shop and it looks totally awesome and cool. Prints in two parts. I was able to print it on my smaller uh, Prusa Mini. So it does fit on smaller print beds. And what I really like about it is that it has these glowing coals here in the middle. Again, just drop in one of the warmer or yellow LED lights um, and it creates a really nice kind of yellowish cast. Now, along with the flames here and the coal pit, I did paint it uh, a little bit, put a little bit of orange on there. And then on here, I did highlight with black just so that it looked like there was coals. You don't have to do that. You can just keep it totally clear. And I used clear PLA in order to print out the flame parts, but I think when the lights are off or even with the lights on, just having that added color gives it uh, a little bit of a touch of flame. And so that is the option that I worked with. In the pictures, I know that Jason put a red light into the render there. And so that's another option, but I think these prints always turn out super clean, need no supports. And I print in 0.2 millimeter height, which I think works great with any terrain. Uh, go ahead and check out some of my other videos where I did provide painting tutorials. I basically use the same method for almost all of my terrain pieces. Makes it super fast and easy using craft paint and just check out my playlist even for some of the previous Zykit Kickstarters and I've done a number of painting tutorials there. But let's go ahead and go over to the computer and I can walk you through the Kickstarter campaign. So here is the Kickstarter page. Go ahead and use the links below to get to this page. And you can see that at the time of recording, there's a little bit less than two weeks left to go. So make sure you jump in on this because it expires on Saturday, February 25th. Already raised about um, almost $8,000. This launched about four days ago. You can watch this video when you have time. And Jason actually is a really good singer. He actually sings a little bit in it, which I think is awesome. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. Um, basically, the pledges are relatively easy. You have a $3 pledge just to get the PDFs of the maps. And I'll show you more what that is like. 
And further down is really only one other pledge, and that is the $32 all-in. That's going to give you everything, including the maps. And then obviously, if you are a merchant, there is a merchant pledge. There was a initial um, early bird that happened, which was $26. So you would have saved $6. But overall, I think even with $32, this is going to be a pretty good deal. Um, first of all, we have these buildings. And there's a cottage, a round house, which I think looks really unique. And all of these do. Anything that has this uh, bulb symbol here means that you are able to use those LED balloon lights. And then here is a blacksmith, which I printed out and is one of the GGGGs for this month. And I pretty much painted it the way that Jason uh, showed here, ex with the exception that I didn't make these copper, but instead sort of a black metal. But you're also going to get these buildings. And I think this uh, rolling cart looks really cool. That was showed in the video. And then now we're going to get into some of these fantasy rocks, which is terrain that I really like to field when I'm playing my war games, fantasy or sci-fi war games. And there's going to be more of these below. So in this section, it's going to show all the different kinds of scatter terrain that he's going to be providing. And it is a pretty wide variety. And this is more of not only um, fantasy buildings with these bricks, but also a little bit these cathedral type buildings. But they all tie together because they have similar bricks here. And then um, we have this kind of scattered terrain as well as these torches, which I think look super cool. And overall, you would think that one campaign would just have these STL files and features. And when I am wargaming, I do prefer this kind of sort of ruined um, scatter terrain because you have more line of sight rather than with pure just buildings because the buildings just act as these rectangular blocks on the field. Whereas with this ruined uh, scatter terrain, you're actually able to move your miniatures through them relatively easily and it isn't completely um, shutting out line of sight. Uh, here is a GIF just showing the different ways that you can use these balloon lights. This next theme is bones. So we have what looks like might be a dinosaur or a dragon skull. Yeah, obviously it says dragon skull here with bones. So that's an interesting feature, but that would be really quick to print or paint up. And then here we have a Japanese set of different kinds of trees but also this Tory gate clumps of bamboo that we see here. We have a bridge and some stones. And this is where I grab the lanterns. I think these lanterns would make good objectives for a game like Bushido or other miniature games, or I can incorporate it into Forbidden Fortress somehow. We have some benches and some spooky trees that has, he's suggesting some green lights to place inside of them. And then check this out. We have gravestones, which I think, again, would be really quick to paint up. So you can create sort of a graveyard scene as he includes these um, fences. Next, we have some caves. And I always feel like these are um, nice to have as scatter terrain. And you can create relatively cool cave system uh, just by placing this on top of a one-inch grid and creating different um patterns and that and then here this gif is showing the different kinds of uh, seasons that you can have on the terrain so he's going to have uh, three different variants here grass snow rock and ice so you're able to have different theme terrain uh, among these cliffs so that's going to be all of this system here and these look super cool again uh, i always like having hills where you can stand actual miniatures on them and I appreciate sort of these tiered or leveled hill system because it's a nightmare trying to balance uh, miniatures on actually slanted hills. Now this is where we get into some of the PDFs that you're going to be able to print out and produce maps relatively quickly if you didn't want to create 3D printed tiles. So this is a fast way to have all kinds of different um, printable terrain and you can scale it to whatever you want but uh, typically it's an inch grid. And here are some stretch goals that have already been unlocked. He has some planks and ladders to be able to create more scatter terrain. 
This is super cool. Different kinds of vegetables that you're going to be able to print out. And I wish I had these when I was making the 3D terrain for Townsfolk Tussle. Uh, we have this lighted up uh, round stone. Might be a summoning circle. And then we have these palm trees, which I might grab to print out for my new Blood and Plunder box set that just came in. And we will see as more uh, different stretch goals are to come. These are going to basically deliver, let's scroll down here after all of these photos showing samples. All of these files will be delivered by April 30th and may take a little bit more time depending on how many stretch goals are unlocked. And also use the link below to go to zykit.com because he has all of the files from his previous Kickstarters as well as some laser files, which is how I got to know Jason was I was looking for laser files when I got my CO2 laser a while ago. So there you have it. You're getting a ton of different kinds of terrain and hopefully more things will be unlocking as the campaign goes along. Use the links below and you can go to that Kickstarter campaign and also use my link to go to my Patreon page in order to potentially be chosen by Bob to receive the all-in pledge for two of my Patreon supporters. Also, you might be chosen to receive this printed and painted blacksmith shop that you see here, along with a number of other GGGGs. Thanks for watching. Happy printing. Happy gaming. We'll see you next time.